This is Twit. So last year, Android announced that they would have a new kind of safety section in the Google Play Store, which basically requires developers to specifically state every single like uh, permission that they request and what they specifically use for. And it was kind of like a little bit muddy at the time, but the, uh, I think about the like, last quarter of 2021, they started kind of making the information required available to devs. And I actually, I, I had to help answer these questions at work. <laughs> and the idea was that you had to have basically filled out this information, which is again, like what features you use and specifically for what. Uh, and also like whether a user, whether this is like a permanent like request permission that you're needing or an optional one. And the idea was that these had to be done by end of Q2, which I guess is like what, June. Uh, but now you have a little bit more time if you're an Android dev to answer these questions about what permissions you need. And I think they said July 2022 is when developers will need to make sure that they correctly fill out the Play Store's data, data safety section. And if you don't get it done, by July 2022, there will be ramifications. So, you know, it's pretty interesting because this play, this safety section will be visible for users and hopefully give a little bit more kind of human readable, a little less, you know, like, I mean, they we could always like see what permissions an app use, but now there's actually requesting of a purpose. Like, why do you need this thing? Why do you need to know my number, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully users can make more of a, informed choice about mm. what permissions they give apps or just like whether they want to download an app at all. Uh, would, would you, do you, do y'all ever pay attention to permissions or is this kind of interesting to you? Would you, would you delete an app based on the safety section if they were, an un, if they had an unsafe section? That sounds Well, weird. I got to tell you before, before we answer that, I will say this throws off all my plans for my future mobile development. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 this just, this just, this is a major, we need to pivot now. We totally need to pivot now. Um, I, I will be, I will be honest. I do not look at anything when I go to install an app, but I go to install mm -hmm. the app, I've decided I want it. And like, I'm not looking at the developer notes. I'm not looking at the reviews. Like, I'm just like, Oh, let me get that and do it. I probably should, but in the moment, you know, like it's, it's, it, it falls back on that trusted source. Like if I'm looking for yeah. like a ruler app and I don't recognize any of the developers, I might read a little bit about it. But if I'm looking for like, you know, if, if, Google releases a new app or Facebook or some other like, uh, uh, you know, kind of develop, you know, company that I tr Trello company that I trust and, and know yeah. I'm just going to install it blindly. That said, uh, there have been apps that I've installed and then open. And then I get the dialogue saying this app wants access to your phone. And I'm like, wait a minute, that app doesn't need <laughs> access to my phone. That's when I pause. That's when I stop. Yeah. It, 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 I feel like that, that intersection in giving the app level permission as you're using it really changed the way we look at what apps are doing. But before that step, before that point, I'm not, I mean, if they can, if they can replicate that kind of get in your face with what the permissions are, when you go to install it, then maybe mm -hmm. I'll look at it. But right now it's, it's blind. So what about you, Jason? Yeah. So. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a, with some apps, I'm totally right there with you, Ron. Like usually, I also don't install a whole lot of apps these days, you know, <laughs> and probably part of the reason is because we don't have the arena around anymore. But, <laughs> um, you know, so when I am to a point where I'm going to install an app, it's like I've discovered it somehow. I don't, I don't really go into the Play Store and, and choose blindly, right? Like the, there's, there's some sort of referral or recommendation or article that I read or something built around an app that usually crosses my, my path that acts at least to a certain degree as at least part of the vetting system that I have. But I do, when I go to install an app, I definitely do look at things like comments and rating and everything like that, because I find it useful to go down there and at least just glance at it and see like, what are the last few people that have installed this? Like, what are they saying? And if it's a lot of one stars and like, yeah. holy cow, this thing is, you know, riddled with, with, you know, really invasive ads or this thing, you know, the developer, whatever the complaints are, yeah, then I'm going to use that. I'm probably not going to install it. I totally refer to that. Do I look at, um, you know, would I look at a data safety section? I think it probably would. I don't think I would do that with every app, but I am of the opinion that more data, you know, more information is better than less, especially when it comes to this stuff. And especially now in this time where people are a mm -hmm. lot more sensitive to data and privacy and security and, and all this stuff. So Absolutely. I applaud that um, they're making this more transparent. Um, I'm curious for you, when do you yeah. have a sense of 
kind of the temperature of uh, developers. You know, this is more information that developers have to kind of build in. So it requires more work, A. But it mm -hmm. also, to certain developers, like they might they might be okay with the fact that people don't understand completely the mechanics. Yeah. And they might not, and by the way, they might not even be able to be doing something wrong behind the scenes. Yeah. It's yeah. just, that's another speed bump in the way of someone downloading their app. Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly feel like in, I think this is coming from being at a company where when GDPR came out, we had to kind of be all hands on deck and, and like reevaluate things. And that was actually more traumatic, like having to um, kind of make sure that we were GDPR compliant, which meant we had to obfuscate a lot of data. We had to audit. So we, I mean, we've kind of been through this dance before in, in a lot more kind of an intense fashion where we had to very carefully audit what data we were keeping, whether it was personally identifying data like very specific things about a person or kind of more generic things where you can't identify a person. So I feel like when it came to this, be like, ah, oh, this is old hat, you know? And I, I think generally speaking, at least for the devs that I know, and, and like to, it, this is not actually that bad of a process. It's basically a survey. And I think in a lot okay. of ways it keeps you honest. Um, yeah, it's, totally. it's really like, and, and there's not really like a prove, you know, prove it. There's basically like, okay, a, a list of features like fit data, uh, position, uh, uh, geolocation, uh, personal name, email, yada, yada, activity. And you basically say, yes, I use it. And then specifically the purpose that you use it for. And it's not like a fill-in box where you have to kind of come up with a good story and like, you know, like right. backing up and, and references. It's literally just like, okay, pick a category um, for whether it's fraud detection or account management, yada, yada. So it's not really that bad. But I think to some extent there there would be repercussions if you kind of flagrantly lied probably and someone sure. didn't verify it. But I think a lot of us understand these days that data and privacy are just not going to go away as concerns, you know, especially in the last like five years with everything that's happened in the world. I think users are, you know, in general, I think at least a kind of general feeling of consciousness about data and privacy and, you know, hopefully good developers will respect that. And I, I don't think I, I can, I'd like to say that I think most people um, can recognize when they might be using data that they don't need to use and, Whereas before, you know, in the early days, you could kind of get away with it or there wasn't really a lot of ways maybe for people to bad actors to, to like uh, take advantage of that. We're kind of more aware now of like the repercussions of, you know, you know, just like storing plain, plain text passwords in your database. There are certain things that you just don't want to do. Mm -hmm. And I think all of us, as as long as you're trying to do your job right, understand that. And so this is kind of like, yeah, no biggie. It's just kind of part of the thing. And like, they obviously gave you an extra month to do it. So I think we're all, I think we're down with it. I think we're down with it. And in a way, I think for us, I think the most heat that we got so far is internally, you know, especially again with being a company that cares a lot and is like kind of uh, in multi, in, in multiple uh nations or is a multi-country company and we're having to worry about a lot more serious laws. It's just like, this is just part of the daily thing. This is just things that we have to be aware of. And it kind of lets us audit things that we don't need uh, mm -hmm. and, and kind of reevaluate and just be good citizens. So I think generally, I would say most people are positive about it. I, I would be really surprised if someone was like griping about doing this because it's, right. it's really not that hard. And it's a declaration of, hey, I am not a butthole. Right. I'm not going to I am not a crook. I am not, not a crook. crook. <laughs> I am not a crook. So yeah, um, it's it's kind of just the cost of doing business, and I that's a very like more cold way of saying it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. be be a, yeah. be a good person and like let people know what you're using their data for. Yeah.